guys, Josh from Spotter Up and Green Ops. I wanted to make a short video talking about my concealed carry holsters. Uh, I have a bunch of different holsters, but they all share a bunch of similar features that through some trial and error and some education and experience I've learned uh, really help contribute to a good carry system, meaning belt, holster, gun, and your body all together that make it comfortable, make it concealable, make it accessible. So uh, <clears throat> with the exception of, no, actually all of these holsters I have modified after I got them to some extent, sometimes very minor modifications, sometimes uh, bigger modifications, but um, all of them share similar features. And these are the features that I kind of want to talk about that you have to consider and that <clears throat> come together to create this system that works really well. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this uh, Raven Concealment Eidolon holster. So Eidolon came out several years ago. Uh, it was a <clears throat> um, collaboration between uh, Kyle Before, who worked with Raven to create this, you know, deep concealment uh, holster that actually works really, really great. Um, and, you know, he, he was coming from a place where non-permissive environment, you cannot get busted with a gun, right? Or, or you're in trouble. It's an international incident or worse, right? So uh, the system they finally ended up putting out was this Eidolon. Uh, the key features of the Eidolon were, first of all, it's uh, switchable, ambidextrous both ways, but it's got this muzzle pad here. It's a uh, hard kind of rubber material. And this muzzle pad, <clears throat> what it does is this rests against your leg and it creates a cushion. So it helps in comfort, but more importantly, this muzzle pad pushing against your leg helps keep this part of the gun back here against uh, from from spilling out over your belt right so this muzzle pad helps keep the gun concealed from poking out of your shirt by keeping it pushed against your body that lever action right here then the other factor was the wing right uh you know they weren't the first company to do the wing but i, I feel like they popularized it a little bit more uh, with this holster. Um, it was the first time I became aware of it anyways was seeing this holster. So uh, this wing, similarly, uh, the belt goes through your belt clips here and then the belt, <clears throat> as you tighten it down, will push against this lever. Make sure it's focused, sorry. Push against this lever here, right? Which drives this part of the gun into your body. So now you've got this muzzle pad here adding comfort and also driving the gun into your body this way and this claw or wing driving this gun in. So now this thing is as concealed as possible. It's not spilling out over your belt and the grip isn't sticking out, right? So aids in concealment. So <clears throat> I've basically attempted to emulate those features that I've found to work really, really well on the other holsters that I've, I've gotten. Um, the last thing, about this holster is this is a Glock 17 holster, so it's a 17 length, all right? This is a Glock 19 in here, okay? But uh, I like the longer length of the 17. You can see it doesn't uh, reach all the way to the end. This longer length also helps add stability and kind of leverage action to keep the gun from spilling out over your belt, all right? So the little bit of extra length here helps, right now there's pressure against the bottom. It really helps keep the gun against your body and stable, as opposed to kind of wanting to spill out over your belt and forcing the muzzle to kind of dig into your body a little bit more. So that little bit of extra length in the holster, I find helps concealment and comfort. So that's the Eidolon. It came this way from the factory. I added the discrete carry concept metal clips because the plastic clips that comes with it, um, <clears throat> they were secure enough, but they kind of bent, kind of allowed the holster to uh, move away from your body a little bit. I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, these really hang on to your belt really hard and rigidly. So um, these are just a little more secure and I prefer them. So I add that, added those. Otherwise, this is how the holster came. All right, 
Uh, <clears throat> the next holster I got was the Filster Floodlight, which is a universal appendix holster. It works uh, based on the light retention of the Surefire X300. So <clears throat> uh, it's uh, a little bit extra long, right? Because it needs to accommodate all kinds of pistols and the light, the X300 reaches to right there. Okay, so it's got the X300 length and anything else will fit in there. Um, and it's universal, right? It's got these bungees that you can loosen up a little bit. It fits pretty much any gun that'll accept the light. It's great. This one comes with a, uh, a, a wedge, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, wing, attachment wing, and uh, mod wing, I think it's called. So uh, this wing has different heights, right? I've got the taller one on there. But this does the same function as the claw that the, uh, the Eidolon had. The belt goes through the loops, it pushes against this and drives the grip of the gun, which would be here into your body more. All right. uh, this is a great holster uh, for when I want to carry an X300 and it works for any gun. That's a very appealing holster. I went ahead and added Velcro to the back of this so that I can use some kind of a muzzle pad, right? foam muzzle pad. And these foam muzzle pads you can get from Darkstar gear. All right. And with the, the, Loop material, just slap it on there. Uh, hook on the back of the muzzle pad, fits on the loop tape that you stick to the, uh, upside down. Stick to the holster, now you've got a uh, muzzle pad on there. All right, does the same thing. It adds cushion, levers the gun into your body. So I just add some industrial Velcro tape to the back of this. All right, which I got off Amazon, Strenko, two inch black adhesive fastener. This is a strong stuff. It'll stay on the holster. I recommend you use this. I've also bought some cheaper double-sided Velcro tape, hook and loop tape that didn't stay put. Uh, so that did not work as well. So this stuff's just industrial strength, Strenko. You can find it on Amazon, made in China. So <clears throat> uh, moving on, having identified these features that I found worked really well, I asked CNG to kind of custom make me a holster to my specifications. And that's what they did. This is their standard inside the waistband holster. I had them add a wing. Um, I asked for clip options. Right now I've got this big single clip on here, but I can also add uh, discrete carry clips if I want to on the sides. All right. I had them make it uh, full size length. So this is a compact uh, pistol and a full side length gun because um, I wanted that extra length. I asked them to make flat spots uh, on the back just because I found that the flat spots kind of uh, helped in comfort. Um, and then of course, I added a soft piece of industrial strength hook material so that I could add my Dark Star Gear foam muzzle pad. Uh, and this is one of the smaller ones, and these are the ones I prefer. I found that the bigger ones, uh, they dig into me too much, but these work perfectly for what I need. They do exactly the job that I need. They help it comfort. They add just a little bit of pressure to drive the gun in. Um, and then ask for a large clip here uh, for reasons I'll get into in a minute. But I also replaced the screws with longer screws. Um, I need to loosen up a little bit, but I want to run these with much less retention than most people normally do automatically. I just go to Home Depot and I buy extra long screws so that I don't have to worry about losing them even if I keep this loose, right? Because this controls the retention of the holster and I don't want it super high retention. Uh, the belt holds my gun in, you know, I can roll around and not have the gun move. Uh, so extra long screws to add there uh, so you don't lose them, pro tip. So. That's my CNG holster for my P10. Uh, <clears throat> CNG sent me a holster that works for the uh, Streamlight TRL-8 as well. All right, oops, let's see this here. Focus, yep, all right. This holster works for the Glock. It also works for the P10, actually. So they're very similar in size. Um, so this is Designed for that, I added the Velcro on the back, I added a Dark Star Gear muzzle pad, and I added the discrete carry clips, which I added to all of them. So here's the theme now. You've got the muzzle pad with Velcro that I do after the fact, all right? Discrete carry clips, which uh, C&G now offers with their holsters, so you can get those to come with it. 
um, and the wing, which CNG also offers with their holsters. Depending on the gun and if there's a light combo, uh, it'll kind of make a difference on what wing you get. Um, so this is also a Raven wing. Um, so there's a few different options for wings out there. Uh, this one's not extra length, but because it's so wide, the width of this holster um, actually kind of does the same thing. It kind of stabilizes it and keeps it from wanting to spill out over the belt. It's got these two clips wide apart here, um, and you can add a single clip if you want, but I found these work great. And uh, this configuration actually makes it very stable and actually very comfortable as well. So uh, that's how I rock that. And then the Mod 1 holster for the Glock comes with a Dark Star Gear wing, which is probably the best wing on the market uh, for non-light bearing holsters. Um, this one does the function of driving the butt of the gun into your body, but it's also stepped. And the steps now force the angle of the belt, the belt to drive the entire holster back into your body as well a little bit. So it would kind of do the same thing as the muzzle pad. Um, I add this because that's what I do to all of them. It doesn't hurt anything, I don't think. Uh, and it adds a little bit of comfort. So stick the Velcro on there, add a muzzle pad, and you've got a really awesome, comfortable, concealable package. Uh, comes with DCC, uh, discrete carrier clips. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So added my own screws, right? Because I want to run the retention out a little, but I don't want to lose the screws. So I just added longer ones. So that works great. Uh, last thing to talk about is belt selection. Um, so if you run a really rigid belt like this uh, Ares Gear um, Aegis, it's a you know super duper rigid belt. It's more like a piece of equipment to be honest. Uh, just holds its shape. This thing is like life-saving equipment. It's serious. Um, it's very rigid. It holds its own shape. It doesn't conform to my body, really. So I cinch this down, and it's like my waist is the, you know, anchor point for everything. You know, you could haul me off the earth with this thing. Um, this is good. It supports your equipment, but because it doesn't conform to your body as much, uh, when you are trying to use it, you know, with uh, one of these one of these holsters and the clips. The, because it's so rigid, it's not going to be acting on this wing quite as much because it's holding its shape, right? So it's not going to be exerting as much force on the wing here to drive the gun back into your body because it's so rigid, okay? So that's my Aries Gear Aegis, all right? Great, great belt. I love it. It's what I've been using. I also use this Mean Jean leather belt, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit less rigid. Okay. Let me see if I can feed this through here. Probably not. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it. Okay. <clears throat> so this Mean Jean leather belt, a little less rigid, all right, but it's still pretty rigid and it's really, really thick is another issue. So the thickness actually makes this little bit harder to use with my preferred clips because it's so thick it's just hard to adjust the holster once I get it on if I need to it's hard to take on and off quickly it takes a little bit of effort you know um, and it's still a little bit too rigid to work on this wing the way you'd want it to so uh, the owner of Dark Star Gear recently told me about this belt that is, oh gosh, what's it called? It's uh, Ox Creek Tactical. Ox Creek Tactical, I think, yeah. Um, and it's kind of just a standard nylon belt. All right, um, Ox. It's got a cool uh, quick release fastener that I'll show you in a minute, but um, this belt is uh, very, very sturdy. Um, it is very rigid, like it's, totally sufficient for holding up your gear, all right? Hard belt, but it's flexible enough that it'll conform to my body when I cinch it down, meaning it's going to act against this wing, you know, much better and help do what the wing's supposed to do, which is push 
the gun into my body to help with concealment. So this is my new uh, my new default EDC belt when I'm carrying a gun. Um, the other cool thing about this belt, just as a last aside here, is that once you adjust you know your desired length of the belt, how tight you want it, you know figure that out for your body and for your holster and gun. And you just adjust it through this this uh, tongue right here, this with this extra tongue. Once you get that, you thread the belt through your pants, put your holster on right about here, and then all you got to do is pull this tight and clip it in, and your belt's on, right? Quick release, quick quick attach. There it is. All right, and then you're strapped. When you're ready to take it off, <clears throat> you just come over here, pop that off. The belt loosens. You can easily remove or adjust your holster. Right, and then back on. So big fan of that. Thanks, thanks Tom. And uh, yeah, so I suppose this video went longer than I intended. Uh, hopefully, it was in focus and it all made sense. <clears throat> um, but you can see the pattern of key features that I want on all of my holsters. Uh, you know, more or less. That's what works. Um, this is not an easy thing to just tell somebody who's looking for, to buy a holster. There's a whole bunch of kind of considerations to take in. And so I wanted to make this video so that people that were interested in a carrying appendix could see the things that I think really contribute to doing it effectively um, and what I've found. All right, this is going to apply to everybody. You know, some people aren't going to like some of these features or they're just not going to work for their bodies. But in general, I think these are what you are, want to look for in a appendix holster. Um, notice they're all Kydex. Um, I kind of like the thicker Kydex personally. Um, there's a 0 0.093, uh, which is what these are, right? Um, these are thicker, 0 0.093. <clears throat> Some of them are thinner. Uh, I think this one might be 0 0.08. Uh, uh, thickness of Kydex, I mean. But anyways, before this video gets too long, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, hit me up if you have additional questions and share this with your friends who carry appendix or are looking to carry appendix or just want to uh, start concealed carrying more effectively. Um, I'll put some links in the, in the uh, description. All right. Thanks, guys. This is my CZP10 holster from CNG. <clears throat> it's got the large foamy single clip right here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much pushed into my body, tucked into my body this way, as good as it's going to get. Um, you know, this is a large t shirt. I'm 200 pounds, 5'8, so. I'm heavier than I should be. If I didn't have a gut, right, this thing would be, you know, my shirt would just be hanging over it. But because I have a gut, right, it sticks out a little bit. But um, that's it. So holster comes off with the single clip pretty easily, right? And then you go to uh, the original, uh, the Eidolon with a Glock 19. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So what's cool is with this belt, right, I've got it adjusted to the tightness that I want, um, and I run the clip offset over here at my, like, 10 o'clock. Quick release. Now the belt's totally loose. So I'll take the holster, put the gun where I think it needs to be, put the clips over the belt, make sure they click in. Yep. Then all I've got to do is marry those up and I'm on. So again, right? Tight into my body. It's pretty good. So just pop that off, take it off. It would be the same thing with this. Just 
just pop that. Get the gun where I want it. Make sure the clips click over the belt. Click, and we're good. All right. If I wanted to move the gun at all at that point, I'd probably just loosen that and adjust. So, <clears throat> not bad. Preconcealable, you know. <clears throat> Unless people are very specifically looking for it, um, not gonna find it. Find the perfect spot. Get the clips over the belt. Click them in. Make sure everything's in its right place, if you know what I'm saying. Belt snaps. Shift it around. There you go. Not bad. All right. Got range of motion. All right. I can crouch, bend over. Guns there. Mags there. It's a pretty awesome package, actually. So. There you have it.